that somewhere out there in those mountains is our next deadly animal. I think, though, to find it, we're going to need quite a lot of legwork. Well, this is just wonderful. Well, that is the droppings of the animal we're looking for. This is quite fresh, too. It's still quite sticky. Oh, very strong smelling. Cool. We're getting closer. Now, this should be a good outlook. Got them. Yes, just down below us. Hey, quick look at this. Whoa, look at that. They can certainly move. It's incredible how fast they run over this terrain. It's rocky, it's uneven, very steep. But they just sprint over it. It must be going, I would think, between 25 and 30 miles per hour. And look how close we're getting. This is extraordinary. Look at them all. They're just standing there, and they're not at all fussed. I guess they kind of know that on these hillsides, they rule. Now, almost all of the animals that we feature on Deadly 60 are carnivores, they're predators, they eat meat. But very occasionally, you find a herbivore, an animal that feeds on vegetable matter, that's worthy of consideration. And I think the gelada is just such an animal. Now, looking at the teeth of the gelada, they just seem completely pointless for munching grass. I mean, it's got canine teeth that would equal those of a lion. So obviously, they're not being used to munch down grass. They're used for a totally different purpose. 